Benthic macroinvertebrates are aquatic insects and crustaceans, and monitoring their populations can determine water quality. This process requires two participants and some supplies, including forceps, ice cube trays, a spray bottle, an aquatic thermometer, identification guides, a magnifying glass, and a net and poles. First, you need to identify a testing site. Macroinvertebrates thrive in fast-moving water, so for your testing site, look for riffles. Second, make sure to approach your testing site from downstream to avoid disturbing the substrate. The person in front of the net should rub rocks to dislodge the bugs from their hiding places. Next, disturb the substrate in front of the net with a rock. Now you can transport your net to a table and using forceps, spoons, or pipettes, collect all the macros found on the net. Spray the net with water from the stream every so often to make the macros move. Using the forceps, collect and separate the macro invertebrates into different sections of the ice cube tray according to type. The macros you may find include mayflies, caddisflies, dobsonflies, and water pennies. Use the identification guides to determine the type of macro you have found. Count and tally each kind of macro you find. After you have counted and identified all of your macros, make sure to let them go back in the stream. You may need to repeat the process again to collect enough macros. Protecting the environment is a big job, and the work of citizen scientists is an essential part of maintaining and preserving our aquatic and terrestrial environments. Across the U.S., citizen scientists are monitoring streams in their neighborhoods and communities and submitting their data to local organizations to help protect our streams and rivers, and so can you. If you're interested in helping our rivers and streams, reach out to your local river monitoring organization for certification information.